Hello everybody, Ben here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Depot N-Gage Class 121 Bubble Car. The version I got is 2D-009-005 N-Gage Class 121-55020 bracket 2121020 Chiltern Railway Blue. This model has a minimum curve radius of 228mm. In the box is some extra details and different couplings as well as some paperwork talking about the sort of lubricating it in all the various parts and the warranty of the model as well. On the roof is these lines and these nicely moulded roof ventilators. On the ends is what I believe is the plated over destination bolt. On the sides there's these moulded handrails, hinges and door handles. There's also other moulded details around the doorways, some rivets and the windows as well. You can also see on the inside it's some seats which have a raised floor around them because I believe the motor's there. On the front there's lights, buffers, buffer beams, cup, the coupling hook, fake coupling hooks and the real one, windows and windscreen wipers. On the sort of underside where the, I think the fuel tank is, there's lots of detail there, it's very nicely well done, there's a lot of nicely moulded detail there. No idea what that actually is, there's various like boxes and pipe work and loads of, it looks really good all the painting and all the moulded detail it, it does look really good and also around the bogey areas there's the bogies actual boxes springs lots of rivets and lots of other detail as well they look good as well for the painted details there's the orange line between the grey of the roof and the blue of the body and that's very well done there's the silver line that goes around the whole DMU that also looks really well done there's also the Chudron Railway's lettering and logo as well as C1 and the various numbers as well. There's also various signs like electrical warning flashes and loads of no smoking symbols or what I'm thinking of smoking symbols on the windows. For the mechanism I believe the motor's in the middle underneath the seats because of the pane of the raised floor. You can also see there's various wires inside the sort of gas compartment at one end which I think is where the DCC decoder socket is but I'm not sure and then there's I believe a drive shaft in the middle, as you on the underside, you can see that, and those drive both bogies, which are all-wheel drive. So this model has lots of gears, and as you'll see, that makes it very noisy for the running. It it doesn't have the best slow speed, but it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's nowhere near sort of the level of I don't know, like the Class 68 Boss by Dapple. It does have, I think, a quite high top speed, but I, I don't think like 50% doesn't seem too bad seems to be all right for a small DMU like this. I think a bit the weight and all the gears is a bit overkill for a single car DMU. It's not going to pull much, maybe like a, I don't know, I guess like a milk tanker or a wagon or something, but that'll be about it. So like the weight's just about, it's fine for its size, and, but the bogeys having all wheel driven just seems a bit unnecessary really. But it's not bad for running, uh, it's, it doesn't stall or anything, it's not bad, it just seems to be a bit fast and it's very noisy because of all the gears. This is after, when I'm running it here, that's after oiling it like the instructions say, so I don't know why it's like that. But it's not bad running. In conclusion, I got this model for £79.50 when there was an offer on Rails of Sheffield for it. If you were to buy it for full price, I wouldn't think it's a good value, but for this, it's not that bad value. It looks alright, it runs alright and the details are right, especially on the end frame. Some aspects are good, but there's nothing superb about it. It just seems an average model that maybe for like 70, 80 pounds seems pretty good, but anything higher than that, maybe not so much. But it's, I wouldn't say it's a bad model. I would recommend it, especially if you can get it for a slightly cheaper price. Thank you for watching this video by me, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below for video ideas or feedback. Thank you for watching, goodbye.